Brakate Hawa, Brakate Hawa Shai, Brakate Hawa, Brakate Hawa Shai, Brakate Hawa, Brakate Hawa Shai, Kal Halalam La, Yahawa Basham Yahawa Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. The blood of the apostles and the elders of Great Mustone who feed us and, and lead us in this truth through the spirit and power of Yahawa Basham Yahawa Shai. Citations are most loved to the men of the elect, right? the men who are who are laboring to be a part of that number, a part of that governing body, 144,000, who are teaching the truth in our sincerity, you know, who are the chaste virgins, you know. You know, that speak spoken about in Revelation 14 and also in 2 Corinthians 11, you know, who, who strive for this truth in sincerity, in honesty, in diligence, you know, seeking, you know, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. Peace and blessings also to the large multitude, the rest of the one-third, the men, women, and children whom the Lord has chosen to have mercy upon, you know, and who make up that remnant who are returning unto the mighty power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Um, this lesson is going to be a response. Um, to the Ella Yasha Wamba's video, so the 144,000 have to be literal virgins. Um, so it's, it's actually a, this video that he did was a response um, to a comment that Jesus is the word um, responded to him and said that you know the, um, the 144,000 should be literal virgins, you know. And um, the Ella beautifully went into it, you know. Um, brother should watch this video, you know, it's a very edifying video to his spirit, you know, showing you, you know, that um, that it's not talking about literal virgins, you know, and that. The women that is speaking about being defiled with is speaking about other prophecies, salah, salah, yeah, other um, other philosophies, other religions, you know, pretty much other knowledge that is contrary to the um to the the, 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 the scriptures, right? Contrary to the doctrine that we have believed, that we have been taught through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. You know, I wanted to take it from a, a slightly different um different perspective. You know, those those men, the one forty four thousand that is speaking about, you know, which have not been defiled with women. You know, and a who in whose spirit is found no guile, you know, is speaking about men who have been purified through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. You know, men who were born um, in, in, into sin, men who committed sin throughout their lifetime. But when they came to the truth, they were made new. They were made clean through Yahweh Shai, and that is that is why they are now um, classed as virgin. That is why they are now classed as um, as with being without guile, right? It's not that they are literally perfect, right? There's no one perfect. There's no one perfect in the flesh other than Yahweh Shai. Yo. Yahweh Shai was the only man who came and walked the earth perfect, spotless, blameless in the flesh, yo. And to, and to a certain extent, uh, um, um, Enoch, right? So that means that th this is not talking about men who, who are perfect in the flesh, who have never sinned, you know, who have never um, literally slept with other women. But we're going to get some understanding as to why they are classed as being perfect pretty much, yo. All right, this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood at Mount Zion, and with him and forty and four thousand, having his father's name and his name written in their foreheads, because that's what's supposed to be there. All right, showing you that the elect, the one part of four thousand, starting with the one part of four thousand, will know the names of the heavenly father and know his son's name. Yo. And I heard a voice from heaven, as a voice of many waters, and as a voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, which is this doctrine, this truth. Right? And before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are the prophets, yo. these are the governing body, these are the first fruits under Yahweh Shai, you know, who go and, 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 and who preach this truth, yo. And then they are the one third, the rest of the one third, which believe on them, yo, and follow them through faith. Right? It says, These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgin. These are they that follow the Lamb with us wherever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and unto the Lamb. And their in their mouth was found no guile, for they are what? Without fault before the throne of God. How are these men without fault before the throne of God? When all have sinned and come short of the glorious God, which we will get here. We'll get that explanation. We'll get what that means. Right? But first I wanted to get into the Greek word for um for defiled. Alright, so the Greek word here. Alright, let me see if I can play it. All right, it says Maluno, and it says um, to pollute, to stain, to contaminate, to defile, using the New Testament of those who have kept themselves pure from the defilements of sin, who have soiled, who have soiled themselves by fornication and adultery. All right, so this is speaking about after they have come in, you know, right? Because how could you say then that the 144,000 men, right, have kept themselves pure from the defilements of sin from the day that they were born? There's no man that was born and lived without sin apart from Yahweh Shai, you know? Right? So how can you say these men 
have not been um, defiled with sin. This, these men are sinless. That's what he's saying because the precept goes on to say that these men are without fault before the throne of God. Right? So let's get some understanding first. I'll bring out the precept that um, the elder brought out. This is 2 Corinthians 11, verse 1. Would to God ye would bear with me a little in my folly and indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have exposed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai. Right? So how is it that, Yahweh, that, that, that Paul is speaking to these Corinthians, saying that he will expose, he has exposed you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai? When I, I'm, I'm confident, 110% confident, that the Corinthians that he was writing to, you know, weren't literal virgins, yo. Right? Let's get another precept, you know, that likens the elect unto being virgins. This is Matthew 25, verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamp and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And the five of them were wise and the five were foolish. The five that were wise represents the elect, yo, represents beginning with the 144,000. They were likened unto virgins, yo. And if you look up the Greek word for likened, let's look it up here and play it. So it says to be made like to liken to compare to illustrate by comparisons right so what what revelation is doing right is comparing the elect to virgins yo right comparing them to actual virgins but not being actual virgins yo but like i said why are these men classed as being uh, um, without fault no guile in their mouth virgins and pure why when we know that you know, all men have fallen short of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, and have sinned somewhat, right? This is John 15 and verse 3. No, this is Yahushai speaking, right? Matter of fact, let me get the red letter just to show it. All right, this is St. John 15 verse 3. It says, No, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, right? No, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So, so the, the, the scriptures, the scriptures, you know, Ephesians 5 verse 26, I believe, it speaks about the washing of water by the word. Right? So through this word, you know, starting with the, um, with, with the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, the blood of Yahweh Shai, and through our understanding of this word, we have been made clean. We have been washed. Let's take a look at the Greek word for that word clean. Right? So clean. Kataras, Kataras, which means clean, pure, physically, purified by fire in a similitude like a branch cleansed by pruning and so fit to bear fruit, right? So pruning, right, means to trim a shrub or bush by cutting away dead or overgrown branches. So that's us killing the old manual, right? That's us cutting off all that offense, right? So it says, ethically, free from corrupt desire, from sin and guilt, right? So Yahweh Shai said to them, Know are you clean through the words that I have spoken unto you. Because of me, you are now clean. You are now free from corrupt desire, sin and, and guilt. Free from admixture of what is false, sincere, genuine, blameless, innocent, unstained with the guilt of anything. That's why the precept said here in Revelation chapter 14, Verse 5, that, that in their mouth was found no guy for they are without fault before the throne of God. This is why they are virgins. This is why they, are, they, are, they have no guy in their mouth that they are without fault. Because Yahushai had made them clean. Right? Yahushai had made them clean. Had made them blameless, innocent, unstained with guilt of anything. Now, how, is this come, how does this come about? Let's get some more understanding. This is Psalm chapter 32 verse 1. A Psalm of David. Right? Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is he unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Right? So there are certain men of the elect, starting with the one forty-four thousand, unto whom the Lord will not impute sin. He will justify them through Yahweh Shai to be perfect. Let's go even further into it. Romans 3 verse 20, Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for the law, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of Yahweh without the law is made manifest, being witnessed by the law and by the prophets. 
even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai, unto, uh, unto all and upon all them that believe there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, even the one for the four thousand. Yo. Right? But what? Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai, whom Yahweh has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. To declare, I, de I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and what? And the justifier of him which believeth in Yahweh Shai. So if you look up that word, a Greek word for justifier or justify, let's get it here. Which means to render righteous or such he ought to be. To show, exhibit, evince one to be righteous such as he is and wish him, wishes himself to be considered. So we who are seeking this truth in sincerity, in honesty, diligently, wish to be considered righteous. And we hold on to that wish, we hold on to that desire, right, through the righteousness of Yahweh Shai. So through Yahweh Shai's righteousness, the elect, starting with the 144,000, are considered righteous because they wish to be considered righteous. So, right? To declare, pronounce, one to be just, righteous, or such a thing ought to be. So that's why the 144,000 are not defiled with women. They are virgin because they have sinned before they came to the truth. But once they have come to the truth, Right? They have been justified. They are no pure. They are no innocent, blameless, faultless before the throne of God. They are no washed clean yo, from everything in the past that they have done and that they, and that they may, have con may continue to slip on you. Right? Because the precept tells you that yo, that we will continue to sin but, but that we should pray to Yahweh Shai, to Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai for forgiveness whenever we stumble. Yo. Right? But the sins of the elect will not be, be, be imputed unto them, yo, as it says in Psalm 32, yo. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. Kal halalam la, yahaw, bashem, yahaw, shai. Bashem, rakakodash, give me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom.